Chase Card presents free ticket brought to you by Chase and by Geico. You know, I was extremely happy and could have stayed at Oklahoma forever. But, um, you know, in, Indiana is one of those places that, where basketball is, um, they have a passion for it. And, and I wanted to um, uh, take on this challenge. We had great success at Oklahoma, both in the conference and nationally. But at the end of the day, um, football is, is going to rule the roost because of the national championships and 80,000 80, plus fans in that stadium every week. Uh, one of the best football coaches in America and Bob Stoops and a passionate, passionate fan following. And that's why the timing was good. I'm 51 years old now, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to coach, but when this opportunity came up, I knew that this was the right time for me to come here. Um, and and I'm, I'm excited about this. I mean, I, I feel like um, we, have, we can have some great, great years here at IU. I don't think Mike Davis got near the credit he deserved because his team did a good job. I remember playing Indiana in the Final Four. Well coached, tough, hard nosed kids. But I think all coaches get to a point where either they're really comfortable or sometimes they need to change. You know, and that's usually the rule in this profession more so than the exception. I mean, sometimes coaches feel more comfortable in other places, and I think that's what it more or less was with uh, Mike. The toughest part of transition was waiting until this practice started in October. Um, because you're dealing with everything that you don't want to deal with. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm a basketball coach. Uh, I've been blessed and fortunate to have some great friends. I have a great wife, I have a great family. And, and the, the greatest advice I can give anyone uh, things are going good, things are going tough, you're dealing with some issues, it's just coach your team. My favorite time of the year is from um, October to March. And right, right now I'm totally in my comfort zone because I'm doing the one thing I love, which is coach my team. This program should always have uh, a Bobby Knight or a coach Knight. I, I don't feel right about saying Bobby Knight. Um, I think it should always have, um, should always embrace coach Knight. How can you not? He's one of the greatest coaches in any sport ever. Has probably influenced as many uh, young coaches, especially from my era, uh, as anybody. You know, when I was growing up, was it was Coach Smith in North Carolina uh, because I was from North Carolina. But then you look nationally, it was Coach Knight. The way his teams played, the way they were prepared, the intelligence and how hard they played, uh, their toughness on defense. Um, he influenced a lot of people. If you were to ask me what is the thing I love most about coaching, it's the relationship I build with the players throughout. It doesn't mean that it's going to work with every single kid. I don't think it works for ev every coach with every single kid. Um, but you try to help kids, um, knowing that you're not going to have a 100% success rate in that area. Sometimes you can help 95% of the co kids you, you coach or kids that, you're, that you're, you're coaching. A lot of people will focus on the 5% maybe that didn't work. But, but I, I enjoy the relationships I build with the kids over the years.